the way we use electricity is changing. As more of us install solar and move towards electric cars, the importance of a safe and reliable network is greater than ever. Our vision at Ausgrid is for communities to have the power in a resilient, affordable, net zero future. As we plan for the next five years at Ausgrid, we're talking to our customers across the Hunter, Newcastle, Central Coast and Sydney to listen and understand so that we can shape the future together. We know affordability of electricity is key for our customers and making the transition to a net zero grid fair for everyone is important. Customers are telling us that dealing with the effects of extreme weather and helping make their communities more resilient should be a priority for us. We are also hearing about the importance of continuing to trial new technologies and looking for innovative ways to deliver a more affordable, smarter, reliable and sustainable electricity supply. In consultation with customers, we are developing a plan that invests proactively to support a net zero future with an investment of $153 million. To ensure this investment is as efficient as possible, we are introducing pricing options that encourage customers to export electricity to the grid when it's needed most. The draft plan also responds to the expectation that we will take action to prepare for the impacts of climate change with a resilience program worth $204 million that balances network investments with community programs and investments before and after extreme weather events for communities where more storms, floods and bushfires might occur. We plan to prioritise innovation with a $50 million innovation fund. We're also looking at ways to improve our resilience to the threat of cyber attacks. We understand that the cost of living is increasing and we have already taken action by reducing our operating costs by 50% in recent years. But we recognise that we need to excel at operations to deliver safe and affordable services. So we're committing to a further $32 million reduction in operating costs. We'll achieve this by lifting our digital capabilities to enable fast and efficient decision making and build new skills to ready ourselves for the future. Despite reducing our costs over the past few years, factors such as interest rates and rising insurance costs are causing prices to rise. In responding to what customers are telling us is important, there will likely be further increases. This leaves us with an important question. Have we got the balance right?